In this problem, we're told to calculate the momentum of a 2,000 kilogram elephant charging a hunter at a speed of 7.5 meters per second. Compare the elephant's momentum with the momentum of a 0.04 kilogram tranquilizer dart fired at a speed of 600 meters per second. What is the momentum of a 90 kilogram hunter running at 7.4 meters per second after missing the elephant? So basically what we're doing in all of these problems is go ahead and solve for, or we're solving for momentum, right? And you need to know that momentum denoted by P is equal to the mass of an object multiplied by its velocity. So this is the formula we're going to be using, and I think it's easiest just by seeing how it's done. So let's just go ahead and start with A. So for A, we're trying to find the momentum of this elephant, right? So we're solving for momentum, which is going to be equal to the mass of our object, which in this case is the elephant, and its mass is 2,000 kilograms, right? So it's going to be 2,000 multiplied by its velocity. And we know it's running at a speed of 7.5 meters per second, so its velocity is just 7.5. So the momentum is just equal to 2,000 times 7.5. So you want to just plug this in your calculator, 2,000 times 7.5 is going to be equal to 15, or yeah, 15,000. So it's going to be equal to 15,000, and then when we measure momentum, we measure momentum in kilogram meters per second. So kilogram meters per second, you can write it like this, or I think it's just easier if you write it like this, right? Because notice this is written in kilograms. And then this is in meters per second. So it's just kilogram times meters over seconds. So 15,000, that's going to be your answer to the first part, so A. So now let's move on to B. So for B, we're trying to find the momentum of the dart, right? So in this case, same thing, P is equal to the mass of the dart, which is 0 0.04 times its velocity. And this is moving at 600 meters per second. So it's going to be 0 0.04 times 600. So 0 0.04 times 600, plug that in. You're gonna get 24. So the momentum is gonna be equal to 24 and then kilogram meters over seconds. So that's gonna be the momentum of the dart. And then for C, same thing. We're solving for the momentum of the hunter. And so it's gonna be equal to the mass of the hunter, which is 90 kg multiplied by its velocity. And so his velocity is gonna be 7.4. So 90 times 7.4, if you go ahead and do that, you're gonna get that it equals. 666. So the momentum of the of the hunter is going to be 666 and then kilogram meters over seconds. So this is going to be the momentum of the hunter, this was the momentum of the dart, and then this is the momentum of the elephant. But yeah, so these are going to be your answers and hopefully you found this useful.